Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Holiday and Cruise Clinic. Now, this is the only programme on TV that's purely dedicated to answering your holiday cruise and travel-related questions. If you've got a question or a query or, or a dilemma, a little problem, here is how to get in touch with us. Either on Facebook and Twitter, search Holiday and Cruise Channel, or the website www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk, or by post. Holiday and Cruise Channel, Cavendish House, Brighton Road, Liverpool, L22 5NG. Now, two words, coach holidays. There you go, that's something I'm sure is right now conjuring up many misconceptions. Certainly did with me when I, I, I first knew that I was going to be having a chat about this today. Now, maybe you're thinking that coach holidays are only for old people, or it'll be cramped, or it'll be slow, it'll involve hours and on hours stuck in one place. Well, do me a favour, stick with me just for the next half hour, because I've got a super guest with me from Shearing's Coach Holidays. Who hasn't heard of Shearing's? They're very, very good. And they've got over 100 years' experience. They're highly regarded as one of the UK's most popular providers of coach holidays. In fact, last year, they won the 2012 British Travel Award for Best uh, Coach Holiday Tour Operator. And here to dispel all those myths, all those misconceptions, is Shearing's Holidays National Sales Manager, Michael Bowers. Michael, great to have you with us today. Great to be here. Thank you I, very much. I'm sorry if I did a bit of a downer on um, coach holidays, but that's why you're here, to dispel all those myths. First of all, is there a typical coach holiday person? Um, well, well, yes and no. Yes in the fact that Brits just love to go on holiday and yeah. escorted holidays by coach is just one option. But, but no in the... Um, in the context of it's it's Mrs. Brown and Mr. Brown who like to go to Eastbourne every every year. Yeah. You you've got so many different types of people. Typically over fifty. Yeah. Um, uh, but but the choices from there are phenomenal. From from four day weekends through to sixteen day touring holidays through through Morocco through Spain. Oh right. Through Russia. So it's it, ah. it's very 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 different. Right now right away you've dispelled one myth with Good. me. I thought you just travel through the UK. Oh, absolutely not, no. Right. Um, I mean, you can go, there's a there's a 15-day Baltic uh, and Russian holiday where you get to see the, the beautiful St. Petersburg, Warsaw, oh, Berlin, wow. for example, right. um, with included tours, with, with optional excursions as well. Mm. Um, Budapest, Prague and Vienna. Um, what a fantastic way to see three iconic cities in, in you know, nine, ten days of, yeah. of travel. Um, and, of course, not all of it is by coach. Sometimes mm. you can fly out and join the coach in resort. So for those people that have travelled a lot through Europe, um, they can get out a bit quicker by air if they prefer, um, yeah. and then join the coaching resort to, to really get in the nooks and crannies of the places that they want to go. Well, th that just sounds absolutely amazing. I didn't realise that it was, it was that, uh, <laughs> that cosmopolitan, that you could go to such sort of disparate places. Oh, absolutely. How wonderful. And what, when you're on a coach holiday, mm. What happens in the evening? Where, what sort of type of places do you stay? Well, typically we have <coughs> different selection of holidays. Um, yeah. For example, sometimes um, on our Grand Tour holidays, we'll, we'll choose typically four-star hotels um, or hotels that are in really good locations, uh, right. which is important, obviously, if you want to go and visit the town. Um, that sometimes there's entertainment in the hotel. Yeah. But again, that's a bit of a myth that um, there's always entertainment and things like that. It's you're in the centre of town, so right. you know. Go, if you're in if you're in Warsaw, why not go and have a look at Warsaw? Yeah. Um, oh, that, I mean that that sounds absolutely super. And uh, someone asked me uh, when they knew I was going to be doing this today, how long at any one time are you sitting on the coach for? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I think <coughs> I think you'd be looking. The the driver looked to have a have a comfort stop perhaps every two and a half, three hours or so. Right. Um, it, you know, it's important, whether it's to see something, a natural point of beauty, for example, yeah. or whether it's just for a comfort break. So it's certainly not um, long periods. Some of our holidays, um, we've actually increased the number this year because of, of customer demand, are actually where the, the coach travels through the night. Um, oh, right. So we have choices within <laughs> coach holidays. We have those that may, for example, travel 
uh, stay in a, an overnight hotel, say in Bru in Belgium or northern France, yeah. and then some that will go straight to resort. <coughs> now, the other thing that, um, because I, this is something I haven't done, I've never been on a, on a coach mm. holiday in my life. Um, what, uh, how are the coaches appointed by way of comfort, facilities? I mean, what is there? on a good, a good coach that will take you quite some distance, what can you expect to find? Things like, you know, the size of the seats, leg room, facilities? Yeah, I'd say, I mean, typically, I mean, I'm sure we all remember the, the, the days when we were at school and going out on the school trips yeah. and there were five people across the back and there yeah. were, you know, things going on. But, but it, it's much different now. I mean, you've got, some of the coaches are actually uh, quite big. Some of them still see the new ones that we have. Yeah. We've just spent seven million this year on thirty Whoa. new coaches, and two years ago we think we spent ten, ten million on on forty forty five coaches. Yeah. So they're all the very latest coaches, and some of them they're actually bigger. The ones that we use in the UK that they, they they seat fifty two people, but in comfort because right. they're a bit longer. Um, I won't bore you, but they're triaxle, which means they have two wheels at the back and one <laughs> yeah. wheel at the front on both sides. Obviously, it'd be a mis bit of a misbalance. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Driving like that, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> it's great for going around roundabouts, but not great, not great on the motorway. Um, but they're, they're a bit bigger, so you've got a good seat room. Um, yeah. The Grand Tour coaches, for example, have got leather trim seats. Um, there is uh, TV monitors um, located, not in every seat, but down yeah. down the coach. So right. uh, the driver will be able to play movies. You can plug in and, and use your headphones. Oh. That's so great. So it's, you... it's 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 and of course there is a there is a, a toilet on them. Some of them are, are floor mounted as well. So right. or others you might just have to go down a few steps to get there. But right. people so only really use them. When you said floor mounted, I thought oh, I don't fancy <laughs> sitting on that ceiling. <laughs> no, but but generally you, you, we st stop every two and a half three hours. So right. it's not it's not something that's ever really used that much yeah. or it's a problem. Oh, that's good. That, well, that's dispelled but a little bit. It's the ride the ride comfort. And one thing that that I noticed when I went to Wales. On, on one of our coaches is I, I, I go to um, Conway every year to play golf but I drive yeah. um, so when I actually went on the coach uh, went to see some of the hotels and went over to Ireland you realise how high you are on the coach so right. you get the views that you would never get from a car you see far so more so you actually see things which yes. and it's as if I'd never been on that route before and I've done it 20, 30 times so yeah. that, that opened my eyes to it when you drive past oh, the nice lovely. landmarks I have that sort of experience when I drive in my husband's transit van <laughs> I go Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Because <laughs> yeah, it's higher and you do notice yeah, it more. It shows me a good time. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> um, what typically is included in a coach holiday from Shearings? Well, <coughs> we try and include things from start to finish. Um, you can choose where you join the coach. There are hundreds of free local joining points around the country, for example. Yeah. Um, on the GT holidays, on the Grand Tour, on specific hundreds of postcodes around the UK, yeah. northwest, north, northeast, midlands, southeast. Um, if you're on a Grand Tour holiday, you'll get complimentary Home Connect, which is someone picking you up at your front door. Oh wow! So they take your <coughs> luggage, and you yeah. won't see your luggage until you get to your overnight hotel or, right. or to the river ship or wherever you're going. Yeah. So that's quite nice. The river ship. Oh uh, yes, I'll. Um, What's I'll, that all about? Well, the river ship. We we're one of the largest um, uh, river cruise operators in the UK. So we take thousands of people away every year, yeah. um, sometimes by coach, by rail, by air, and uh, on, on river cruise holidays. And river cruise holidays really are an extension of, of, of coach holidays. Right. You've got the benefit of going down the arteries of great rivers like the Rhine, the Moselle, the Danube, the Douro, yeah. uh, the Po, um, and, or even further afield, uh, the Mekong, the oh. Nile, the Yangtze. Um, <laughs> and of course, in these wonderful European rivers, you, your ship is literally a city centre hotel, weaving its way through, right. berthing up in places like Bonn, Cologne, Cochrane, yeah. Budapest, maybe 15, 20 minutes walk from, right from the heart of town. So um, yeah. river cruising is a, is a really popular... Um, I had no idea the cheerings were involved in that Oh, well. massively, yeah. We, we charter four of our own ships. Right. Uh, we use another 13, 14 ships around Europe or the world. Yeah. But um, it's a very growing market, and it's something that lends itself well to escorted coach holidays because so you can actually um get on a coach yeah and that will drive you to um uh, i mean what how do the coaches link up with the continental river cruise ones do you do a bit of coach driving can and do. a bit on the uh, river 
Yeah, we do. We do. Say, for example, a week, uh, eight days going down the Rhine, mm -hmm. uh, you'll join your coach. Say you join it in Newcastle or Manchester or, or in the yeah. south, wherever. You'll go across the water on the coach, overnight somewhere in northern France. Oh, right, France. so you don't have to fly at all if you're not no, a flyer. not at all. If you can't be bothered with the airports, which is a real ache. It can be. Yeah. yeah it can be for those. And we, we, we like to offer the choice because some people prefer to get out there yeah. quicker. Some people would rather just let us take the strain. And that's Great, what we're so the you best just at. get on a coach. Yeah. And be taken to Cologne to or Co somewhere without ever or, taken or, to the air. Or Linz, and then oh. you, you enjoy a week on the river. Well, six six days on the river. Right. And then you you, you come back. Oh, you've sold me. Oh, river cruises are the they're great. They're the future, like the garlic future, bread. Like garlic bread. It's the I've future. tasted it. I've been on one. <laughs> well, we're going to be talking uh, a bit more about coach holidays in just a few minutes. But can I just remind you of our very handy cruise guide? Here it is. Uh, maybe you like the idea of holidaying by coach. And maybe you're going to combine uh, combine it with a cruise. Well, our first time guide to cruise holidays, it's got the answers uh, to lots of commonly asked questions. It's free of charge. All you have to do uh, is call us. Uh, sorry, not yes, call us. Got mixed up then. 0871 423 4444. If you do that, the calls will cost 10p a minute. That's from a BT landline. Obviously, other networks and mobiles will vary. Uh, or you can also request a cough via our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. Now, while you're doing that, we'll take a quick break and we'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes. Hi there, welcome back to the Holiday and Cruise Clinic. Today, we're holidaying by coach. And, you know, it's been a really great eye-opener for me, certainly so far. And if you've got a question on coach holidays or any holiday, whether it's cruise, travel-related, here's how you get in touch. On Facebook and Twitter, search Holiday and Cruise Channel. Uh, the website is always there for you, www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk or good old-fashioned post. That's the Holiday and Cruise Channel, Cavendish House, Brighton Road, Liverpool, L22 5NG. Now, Michael Bowers, and he's done it all. He's been on virtually every one, it sounds like. He is from Shearing's Holidays, the award-winning holiday company. He is still with me. Uh, Michael, what destinations do you offer that aren't possibly normally known for coach holidays? Um, well, I guess just, just just thinking about it, I guess you could say um, where people might not think. I mean, typically, we, we're in a position quite fortunate where we own 50 hotels in Great Britain. Oh, so, right. So Wales, Scotland uh, and England. Uh, and they're either on those fantastic coastal resorts like the Whitby's, Scarborough, uh, right. St Moors, Great Yarmouth, etc. And people still love those because it harks back to days... You yeah. know, fish and chips on the shore, eating rock, and it, oh, so they're they're always going to be popular. But yeah. um, you may not think that it's like we try to keep it current. So yeah. there are things like you know we've got a Jane Austen tour uh, that sends us from Bath. Oh, that sounds good. Um, Downton Abbey. Do you like Downton Abbey? Oh yeah. Do you like your Downton? Do you? Oh, I do. I do like you? Uh, the yeah. modern upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> um, yes, the wife likes that. Sadly, um, which is why we have two televisions. We we, we do that from <laughs> Bath, which is great. Yeah. Um, so we keep it current. We have like. So it, could you go, for example, from Liverpool to Bath and do the downtown thing? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So so we take you down there, stay at our hotel, the Lansdowne Grown in Bath, which is one of our coast and country hotels. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and then you do the tour from there. Or, or maybe you might not think you could do things like the Shetland Islands. No. Um, you could go uh, pretty much from most places in the UK. You could either take the coach up to Aberdeen uh, yes. as part of the tour or even fly up. And right. then again, take the coach from Aberdeen, and then you go across the water. Obviously, go see Shetland, Sullenvo, places like that. Oh, Sullenvo! Yeah, everyone knows Sullenvo. So, I mean, you've just given a wonderful example of some really oh gosh, they sound super um, coach tours. We, we spoke about European holidays. So, for shearings, are the UK holidays, coach holidays, still very popular? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, yeah. all the, the the jubilee. What a year we've had. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, the Olympics, jubilee. Um, uh, even Andy Murray, whenever in America, it's something British that's great. And yes. So people are celebrating their 
the Britishness, Britishness than they are going out and, and seeing. And the thing is, although the Olympics centred pretty much in that southwest part of, mm. uh, of England, um, it, it still gives people a, a chance. And the Jubilee, in all of our hotels, yeah. our celebrations when the Jubilee were on, and people yes. love that because it is British. We all remember the yeah. Jubilee in 77, don't we? Oh. Um, you know, I'm sure we both had street parties back then. And so people do want to go out and, and, and just rediscover rediscover yeah. Britain. Oh, I think it sounds a brilliant way of doing it. Tell me, is there a, a best time or a good time to book a coach holiday? Uh, and if there is, when when would it be? Um, to book or to travel? To tra well, to book and to travel, really. To be honest, it, it depends. It's it's always best to book as soon as you can. Yeah. Um, when the, the, when the brochures are out, for example, because then you've got the choice. You've got the choice of dates. Mm. You might want specific seats on the coach. You can choose which seats you stay on. You stay on those seats for, for the duration of the holiday. So people that come back time and time again know that they like to be in the middle or at the back or at the yes. front. So you can do that. You get the room of your choice. We have some lovely upgraded rooms um, that people can choose right. um, if they book early. And single people, a lot of singles travel. Now, do they? Absolutely, yeah. And are they well catered for by Shearings? Yes, they are. I mean, escorted <laughs> holidays are great for single people because yeah. th there's other singles on there as well. Right. But, you know, you're with like-minded people that want to go to Moscow, that want to go to, right. to Eastbourne. So that's, uh, that's nice in itself. But then yeah. even the single room supplements in our own hotels, you're only looking at maybe four, four to five pounds a night extra. Really? Yeah, so maybe twenty That's pounds for a week. That's very good. That's it is. very good indeed. Have you had any romances that have ended up in relationships on your sharing singles? I was at a show <coughs> a year or so ago mm. and and met this couple that that met on a on a sharing's holiday. And yeah. yes, there have been there have been some. I mean, it's been more successful than Blind Date. <laughs> if that, um, but then again, we've been going longer, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now. It's, it's 2013 now, we're looking forward to a, a, a new year. Um, Christmas just gone. Do people go away on coach holidays over Christmas and over New Year? Yeah, absolutely. What was um, it like uh, Christmas 2012? Christmas 2012, um, it was, uh, well, I was there. I was there on the 23rd of December. Yes. That, that's when the Christmas tours go away. So I was at one of our interchanges, which yeah. is, is effectively an airport for yes. coach, where all the coaches come in and go. So we're there. I was there giving mince pies with some of the team on, on that on that cold Sunday morning, and yes. um, and just the way people are so excited about going away, yeah. they, they love it. And and for those that that want a bit more than Christmas, yes. um, back in October and November in our hotel estate where we have our turkey and tinsel breaks. Yes. Have you heard of turkey and tinsel? I have heard of turkey. And it's tinsel. Christmas before Christmas, yes. so you you pretty <laughs> much have a remember your mock exams at school. It, yeah. it, it, it's like that. You you know you get ready for it, maybe practice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, having Christmas before Christmas, and that's that's as popular yeah. as ever as well. But right. no, Christmas and New Year, um, be it obviously the Hogmanay breaks in Scotland are very popular. Oh, they'd be good because they're, they? they're, you know it, it's all about. Do you themed. have hotels in Scotland? We've got um, nine hotels in Scotland. And you do the full big oh we timorous oh no that's that's that's, that's Burns. Burns night that's isn't Burns it? Burns night yeah, so, but they will do that up yeah. on, on is it February Burns night? I forget. That's I'm not, somewhere, I'm not very somewhere like that. Yeah, good on those sort of things. Yeah. But yes, yeah, yes, we the, they will they will touch on that for those that want to right and so in so new year's eve um in scotland you you really pull all the stops out oh absolutely yeah, yeah. and that's why people choose to go it, it's the whole it's yeah. the whole feeling of being up there in fact it's more important than christmas up there i think yes i think you're honest. right would you say um as well that uh, if you are on your own if people for whatever reason are on their own mm. um is christmas and new year uh, a really good inclusive time to maybe go away with shearings it is. I mean, people on holiday are always in that frame of mind, yeah. anyway, especially the British. Yeah. You know, we are. You know, we we used to uh, sort of clumping together anyway. But yeah. but yeah, Christmas is, uh, I suppose, maybe a little bit more where people just have that inclusivity. But yeah. but singles are never never left out, and um, yeah. it's in fact people regulars that go with us don't really care where they go a lot of the time. Right. It's the fact that they are going away with us. They've got the feeling, and our the hotels that we own in the UK, in, in Great Britain. Um, they're resort hotels, yeah. so there's no people coming in for meetings and and this that, and the other. No, they are there for, they're there for people to enjoy holidays, right. yeah. uh, and that's that's something that we you know we hold by. It sounds absolutely brilliant. No wonder Good. you've won the award. It's fab. Have you got any hints or, or tips 
for people who are going to take their first time coach holiday. They've watched this program and they're thinking, do you know what? Then have a go at that. I'd certainly say, depending obviously depending on on the kind of things um, that they like. Um, <coughs> the brochure's great. The brochure talks about all the different themes. So, yeah. say for example, they they might have an interest in rail. We've got holidays that are themed by that 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 interest. So you could have the great little trains of Wales, where you yeah. spend a week in Wales, going on the different rides, a round Britain tour. Oh, um, just reeling back with that one, the trains one. Mm. And I always say this, my husband loves trains, yeah. he's got a train set, he's building a train set along a wall. Don't ask why. I said, you're not having that room for a train set. He said, okay, I'll sort something out. The train set is being built along the wall now. So. Fantastic. So, so you can do a coach holiday that'll take you yeah. so that you can actually go on trains in Wales. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, specifically, <laughs> that's great little trains of Wales, yeah. Well, there'll be two or three. Oh, how super. But you've, we've got the Round Britain tour, which takes in uh, steam journeys in Yorkshire, yeah. the Seven Valley, uh, Wales, um, Central England, uh, up right. in Scotland. So you go on the train and the coach picks you up at the other end. Yeah, and takes oh. you to the hotel. How fantastic. So you get all the best of um, the steam and the yeah. wonderful scenery right. without, um, you know, staying oh, on the rail all the this time. This sounds absolutely super. We, you've got to come back. I We've got to back. have you back. I think that would be absolutely It's very brilliant. kind of you. Oh, it's a pleasure. I to, to don't normally get a second invite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, um, I, I've just so enjoyed talking about coach travel. This is opening my eyes because never thought of coach travel. There's lots of things. I never get a holiday. This is the problem with me. <laughs> but uh, let me just give you a quick reminder about our first time guide to cruise holidays. This one here. Um, if you want a copy, just call us on 08714234444. Calls will cost you 10p a minute from a BT landline. Other networks and mobiles will vary, but you can also get one through the website, www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. And they are going out in the thousands every week, seriously, so uh, they're well worth having. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for on today's edition of the Holiday and Cruise Clinic. And my thanks again, Michael, that was absolutely super. Michael Bowers from the award-winning Shearing's Holidays. Uh, and as always, most of all, thanks to you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye now. <laughs>